So once you have <clears throat> one side of the solar cells taped down real nice, you remove your straight edge. And you want to put down a piece of the tape all the way across all those cells. But not over the tab line. Go ahead and keep all these in place. Don't try to take up this tape yet because now we're going to solder down all these tabs to the anode side of the solar cell. So that will be our next step. We're going to go ahead and solder these tabs down on the back side of each solar cell. And we're actually using uh, solar power to run the camera now also. <laughs> Ran out of that just battery power. <laughs> solar panels come in handy for just about everything. Make yourself a nice little workstation. Shock it. A little bit of solder. Hold down the tab. Shock it. Solder. Hold down the tab.
It's a process. I'm going to go ahead and put flux rosin here on all of the tabs. The flux rosin is not on there. It will not adhere properly. Do not get a good solder joint. Very important. So we shock it. Kind of hard to do it so the camera can still see it. But if you're taking your time, everything's going to come out right. It goes so fast you may not have to shock it every time. tend to go a little faster once you got all your pieces lined up and taped down. Putting the tabs on on the cathode side take a while. And attaching them here to the anode side goes pretty quick. Well, about 15 more to go. So you can probably do about every other one. I didn't like that one. Important to shock it. You're really moving along though, you should be able to do it on every other one as far as the shock goes. Shocking that soldering iron. Keeps the tip very clean. Looks for a nice flow of solder. Running solar power for the soldering iron as well as the lighting and the camera. Solar energy. A couple of these cathode tabs are kind of short. I may put an extra piece of tab wire over it. Yeah, the tab wire I have put on, on the cathode side, is not quite long enough to reach the tab on the anode side. It's about uh, an eighth of an inch too short. So we're going to actually go ahead and put another tab wire on the back. Just piggyback it. Put a little extra rosin on here so it all just flows real nice. Got my 
trusty wood stick. Shock it. A little bit of solder. Perfect. And we can continue on. Voila! Solar power. Nothing like it.